Today in our 2010 GMC Sierra, we'll be installing the Kurt hitch, part number 13301. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is 3.5 inches. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 18 and a quarter inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a drawbar, a bike rack, or a cargo carrier. Now let's go ahead with installation. Note, to make it a little easier to install, we've gone ahead and lowered and removed the spare tire. Now we're ready to go ahead and start our install. We'll start by removing the lower frame fasteners here in the frame rail. These will be the manufacturer's 14 millimeter bolts. This will also be the rear attachment point for our hitch. The pre-drilled holes in the frame here and here on the driver's side will be our center and forward attachment points and they will be identical on the passenger side. Keep in mind each process we do here on the driver's side will get repeated identically on the passenger side. Now with the bolts out of the way we're ready to go ahead and install the hitch. We'll be using the new 14 millimeter fasteners along with the conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold hitch in place while you install the fasteners into the weld nuts of the frame. Now with our rear fasteners supporting the hitch, we can go ahead and take our half inch carriage bolt and block along with the flange nut and install the hardware to secure the center and forward attachment points. To do this, we'll take the carriage bolt and block, feed it through the frame and through the hitch, and then secure it with the flange nut underneath. There's our center attachment point, and we'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the forward attachment point here on the driver's side, and then repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now with all six attachment points in place, we can go ahead and tighten them down. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. And with all fasteners torqued to specification, that'll complete our install of our Kurt Hitch part number 13301 on our 2010 GMC Sierra.